Right, I'm here at Shrewsbury Honda Centre and I've just picked up the VFR 800X Crossrunner. I'm a very happy guy. Um, I'm just uh, done all the paperwork and everything uh, thanks to uh, Darren and Steve here at Shrewsbury Honda. Very helpful and gave me a great deal on the bike. And I'm saying goodbye to this guy, CB1100. It's a lovely bike, but you know, with the touring coming up and everything, it's not exactly ideal given that she's got not a lot of wind protection. But I'll be sad to see her go. Sad face. Okay, um, so I'll just take this back and I'll pop it in the garage and then I'll give you the full walk round. Right, so um, I'm back at. Uh, at my house, or as Blake likes to call it, the mapped base camp in Shrewsbury, and I've just got the Honda Cross Runner back, and there she is in all the glory. So, just thought I'd give you a bit of a walk around the bike and sort of tell you all the facts and stats and, and everything. So, we've got the um, it's basically the VFR 800F on stilts effectively that is not that much higher suspension but it's a little bit more in a sort of adventure mode so you've got the 800 uh, VFR VTEC engine which is an absolute peach I love that engine um, when you take it over six six and a half thousand revs I think it is um, the extra two valves from the V4s uh, kick in and just emits this howl and it's addictive it's it's beautiful that coupled with the Akrapovich um, exhaust, it sounds amazing. Um, the exhaust was on it um, when I saw it in the showroom. Uh, that's what kind of attracted it to me. Um, the nice guys at Shrewsbury Honda Centre have also chucked in these panniers, and uh, it also had the top box on it already. So all three together, you've got the um, the full to touring loadout basically. Um, in terms of extras, um, we've got the heater grips as standard. Um, we've also got the traction control, um, which has two levels and off. Um, what else we got? We've got the LED lights, um, and under the seat. There's the uh, 12 volt, I'll turn this off a little bit, um, but got the 12 volt power supply as well, which would be useful for touring stuff, um, charging stuff on tour. Um, they're also nice enough to put a brand new front tyre on it as well, because it was a bit worn. So I'm going to try and scrub that in today. Um, go on a bit of a ride. Um, yeah, so I'm probably not going to do much with it today. I'm, I'm going to swap the screen um, because unfortunately it's a bit on the small side and I'm quite tall as I'm sure you might have noticed so I'll be swapping that over and also probably adjusting the seat height um, but without much further ado I'll fire her up and you can give her a lesson. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, right? Anyway, I'm going to do some tinkering and uh, I'll see you guys a bit later. You might have uh, been wondering why I'm doing this on my own, uh, and that's because. Um, Cal and Blake got up at the crack of dawn to ride down to London to pick up his uh, tracer. He's not stealing my thunder or anything. Um, but they got up at the crack of dawn and I'm a late riser, shall we say, at the weekend. And Shrewsbury Honda Centre is just around the corner from my house. So it's 
I thought I'd just go and pick it up on my own, um, but I'm sure Blake will be cutting this in with lots of footage from going down to London, so I'll be catching up with those guys when they get back. So it's been a pleasure, as always. Oh, Lord, God.